Hi, I'm Tannis and welcome to the channel. So today on the vlog, we're gonna catch up on what I've been doing since my last vlog. So as you know, I headed out to Alberta to race the Minotaur Sky Race, which took place on Saturday, June 22nd. As you know from my last vlog, I did catch a bit of a chest cold before going to the race, which I still kind of have a little bit. So that was a fun twist to the race and the race prep. But anyways, let's move on. On Monday, I did a quick little shakeout run in Barker's Bush, uh, an easy eight kilometers. We're only six days out, baby. Let's go. And then on Tuesday, we were off, flying out to Alberta for my race. Four point five hours later, we landed in Calgary and headed straight to the trails. That was the quickest one and a half hour drive of our lives with mountain views all around, heading towards Canmore. We even got to see some goats. Hi! What are you doing? It's a bunch of kinkins in the wild. Oh, what the heck is that in Ontario? Hi. So now it was time for our first adventure of the trip. We hit up east end of Rundle Trail, which is just outside of Canmore, with amazing blue lakes and mountain reflections. And the six degrees Celsius weather didn't hurt either. All right, so we're out in Alberta. We're in Canmore, we just landed today. Hitting up the first hike of the trip. Kind of warm the legs up. Look at this spot. Crazy. Going up east end of Rundle. Let's see how that is. So much snow. This trail was straight elevation with 600 meters of vert gained in less than five kilometers as an outback. We quickly heated up, having to change out of our jackets and then back into them later. So cool. Good thing we started rock climbing. Full initiation into Alberta. This scrambling definitely put our rock climbing skills to the test. <laughs> 400 meters of vert in not even two kilometers. Alberta doesn't mess around. Oh my snow. It's crazy. All right, we're going up to the peak here, or the top of this trail at least. And it's snowing. Wow. Kind of weird. We've just been like motoring up this incline. <clears throat> Rock climbing tea meets a mountain tea. Let's go. It's always a shock to see snow in the middle of June, especially coming from Ontario, who had almost no snow this year. What's this? Hi. 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 Why do I live in Ontario? We ended up turning around just prior to the peak for this hike due to the snow and Josh's slippery shoes. The way back down is not as easy as the way up, that's for sure. <laughs> 
Josh is in road shoes. And he just hammered that. Oh yeah, guys, look at that one. <laughs> See that? We just descended from over there. Oh man. Josh got his handy dandy stick. Trying to get some mud on his butt. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just like out here flying. But I got my trail shoes on, so. <laughs> We headed back down and inevitably my alter ego mini destructo had other plans for this hike. Some bushwhacking involves classic tea. I told you, my directional skills lately are not great. We're free out of the bushwhack. Freedom. All right, let's go back to the car. That definitely added another 500 meters to our day and probably a good half an hour just bushwhacking. From there, we headed to meet our friend Megan who lives in Cochrane, Alberta. Into Wednesday, I got my second run in for the week, the easy 6K shakeout with Megan and her furry friend, Ursa. We're doing a shakeout run in Cochrane, Alberta here. So we go around, brought the dog out. It's Megan, we went to Windsor together. Ooh, you heard me talk about Windsor in my previous vlog. Still have a cold. <laughs> so simply falls. Um, head down to the water. Yeah. Yes. The nice. river. And then you can see the mountains in the distance. We'll be back on those later today. You can still hear my cold. It's quite bad at this point. I was having quite a hard time breathing and coughing most of the day. This easy 6K was along the Bow River, so beautiful, with mountains in the background. From there, the three of us headed out for an epic hike back into Canmore. We hit up Heart Mountain, the Horseshoe Trail Scramble Road. This 10.5 kilometer hike with 900 meters of elevation somehow turned into a 12 kilometer hike with totaling four hours due yet again to my alter ego and my altered sense of direction. Me and Destructo is at it yet again. We're heading out to Heart Mountain today. We're gonna do a really epic hike, a 10K hike up it. I already did 5K this morning, as you saw. So we're gonna go check out some scramble. Rundle's like that big mountain right there. Okay, yep. Uh, Howling is like the one that peaks up like this. Gosh. And then right across from there is where you guys hiked yesterday. Yep. As we climbed up the route, there were mountains all around us. So beautiful, so epic. Good. Ah. 
we're going up there probably doesn't look that steep but it's pretty much like i don't know 45 degree angle Let's see if my watch says no it says zero zero grade thank you watch And this is where I took us too far to climber's right and slipped and slid up this loose gravel. I just came up that. After realizing we were somehow parallel to the summit, but below it, we turned back down a sketchy descent before finally returning on route. See you at the top, T. Mm -hmm. This super epic scramble combined my love of mountains and rock climbing. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Megan's up here. <laughs> You did it! So, another full summit! Hi! That's gotta be the end. I think I made this looks like the summit. Ah, finally the summit. Here we are. Heart Mountain Summit. Oh, cool. Snacks were a must. <coughs> now this trail continued as a loop with two more peaks on the way. First to this unnamed peak. Say 
you run. Another summit. Woo. Look at this. Oh. 360. Oh. That's it. Oh, Going up there. You're good. Catching up the people. Going to crush them. Crush some souls. That's what it Filled with a party of end of the year high schoolers. An epic snowy descent. We just did T's patented butt slide down the mountain. Did not get that on film, but that was pretty yeah. fun. Vico for the win. Before finally reaching the third peak of Grant McEwen. From there, it was a technical descent back to the car. Working on this technical descent. More descent, still descending off Heart Mountain. This is super technical. Good thing I did all that vert training with Reese. Savage. Got me ready for this. Look at this. I couldn't hike it. I had to run it. It was too fun. See, watch this. Still on the descent, but now we're into some roots. So fun. This hike was really amazing. We got to catch up with Megan, who we both went to Windsor with 10 years ago. So it's pretty amazing to be able to catch up with friends who you haven't seen for 10 years and pick up right where you left it. And from there we headed back to Cochrane that evening, but not before encountering these wild horses. They're just supposed to be in the middle of the road. A little horsey. Can I help you? What are you guys doing? Why are you on the road? What are you doing? Get in there, buddy. And just like that, it was Thursday and time to head to the race site, Crow's Nest Pass, Alberta. It was a two and a half hour drive. We took that day off from hiking or running as it was a pretty good travel day and we wanted to just get settled in the race hotel. The drive was also historic, passing by Frank Slide the deadliest rock slide in Canada, which actually unfortunately killed 90 people and buried a whole town beneath it. You can see the sheer amount of rock that came off that mountain. Wow, look at all this rock. Wow. That's crazy. Wild. From there, in three measly days, I'd be racing up mountains. 2,900 meters of elevation in the mountains, in fact. Hope you enjoyed some of those epic Alberta views. Stay tuned for my next vlog, where I'll pick up where we left off. Starting with the day before the race, my nutrition and gear plan, the race itself, and our final three days in Alberta. 
checking out even more beautiful views. As always, like and subscribe, and be sure not to miss this weekend's video.